da 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 Agatha Christie is becoming a big name in a lot of entertainment. I mean, she's been for the past couple years, right? The first time I came aware of her was from a Doctor Who, right? Because they had that episode of The Unicorn and the Wasp that introduced her. Uh, it, well, not her, but someone playing her character, right? One of her mysteries it was woven in the episode. But we've had many movies coming out in regards to um, Agatha Christie. We've had, um, like, The Murder on the Orient Express and Death on the Nile. Those are her works. We also have Amazon getting in on this with The Pale Horse. Now, this project's been on the list for some time. I haven't been meaning to cover it. I haven't gone around to it. But it's been on my, on my radar for quite a while. And it seems like it's doing pretty well. Again, like, Amazon Prime video content is usually really fun to watch. I mean, again, I, I personally have to watch a lot of the projects myself because I'm not an Amazon Prime member. I still don't know if you can buy it separately. Um, because you know, I, I just don't buy a lot of stuff from Amazon at the moment. So I, I'm working in that regard to actually get on one day. But from a lot of the content that I've been covering on this channel, I guess that's how I should say it, I've been very impressed with what I've seen so far. Let's take a look at The Pale Horse and learn a bit more about it. And for people like me, who didn't grow up reading any of the Christie novels... You know, I, I'm excited to kind of see these mysteries play out in new adaptations. Now, I will say the cast for this is quite great. Sean Pertwee, you might remember him from uh, Gotham. He's also, I believe, the son of one of the former doctors. He's on the show. And uh, Kaya Scaldelario is as well. I love her. Rufus Sewell also is. And he gave me a really good impression. You know, again, it's a film I released a while back, but The Illusionist, I really liked that movie. It was very classy. I, I actually watched both that and The Prestige. And The Prestige is insurmountably better, but um, The Illusionist is good. I'm not saying it isn't good. It's just a very different uh, mystery and a different look. Um, it's very, I would say, you know, obvious. It's like, it'll be like some sort of Oscars film. It's kind of the look it gave. Um, let's take a look, though, at The Pale Horse and see how, you know, again, like I said, Rufus Sewell, or I guess, point going back, a very good actor. I really liked his work on The Illusionist. And I was considering, like, who is that guy? And I looked him up, and I'm like, okay, oh, Rufus Sowell. Remember that name. So he's involved in this project. I believe he's the lead. So this is what it says on IMDb. Is a trio of witches responsible for a series of sudden deaths, or is there a rational explanation? I'm betting on the reality that there's potentially a rational explanation. That's usually the way some of these mysteries tend to go. Um, like I said, you know, I, I've talked about this plenty of times as well on this channel as well. Me being a Christian... I'm at odds with the sorcery topic. I don't... So when I see, like, it's a trio of witches. I mean, this could be, like, a Macbeth situation where it's kind of like, well, you know, it's, I, I guess, more... Um, it's rooted in the story. Again, I don't like the idea of, like, sorcery and stuff like that. But we'll see. Maybe it might not be them. Maybe it might be like, well, you know, they're just some, you know, group. And plus, maybe... I, I don't know if this is more so historical, but there's... You know, Speaking of Caius Scodelario, Pirates of the Caribbean, for example, the uh, most recent movie of, of the five... Her character was assumed the entire movie to be a witch. And yes, it was played kind of for humor. In some ways, I did think it got to be kind of a big grading. Because you're like, okay, everybody's saying the same thing over and over and over and over. And over. Script-wise, it was kind of like, like, this is getting a bit dry and repetitive. But this was in history. People were like, oh, well, you know, if you're naturally, you know, gifted in doing a certain thing, you have to be a woman, you must be a witch. And it's like, no, <laughs> not exactly. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at this new uh, Agatha Christie movie and see, you know, maybe if that how that plays out. But again, I'm sure a, a beautiful mystery will unfold. Without further ado, we're going to watch this first and we'll talk about it more. My condensed juice and thoughts watching the video together. Okay. Let's take a look. Here we go. This is sad. She died in her sleep. So no one noticed when she didn't come into work. Imagine no one caring about you enough to know you weren't there. It's the police. Mark Easterbrook. Yes, why am I here? Miss Jessie Davis. I found dead this morning. I, I love her with that. I didn't know her. But she knew you. Can you think of any reason why your name might be on a list? No in danger. Well, nearly all the people on it are dead. Roger Ormerod, Hubert Parkinson, Renee Sanford. That list is a list of victims. It's going to be us next. Where were you? You know, it's not your job to work things out, it's my job. Has anything like this been left for you? It's their sign. It means they're coming. Who's coming? The witches. I'm not superstitious. No, I'm a rational They're man. either flattered no, or like, how dare you call us that? <laughs> That's different when it goes dark. My gut says there's something you're not telling me. Curses and craft and spells and hexes. 
You curse, I'm going to burn in hell! All right, dude, stop it! You lie! And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and the name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with it. So there's some... It's just people dying like people do. That's interesting to see. I mean, in that regard, it's not, it's not literal, you know, biblical um, passages, but Revelation, you know, that's where the verse is coming from. It's an interesting idea. That looks very well done. Like I said, you have Amazon content, you get very high quality productions. And this is not surprise to me. I would imagine maybe, I, I don't, well, I was going to say, maybe the BBC's involved. I have no idea. Maybe for licensing purposes, or maybe there's some agreement between the two groups, but it looks like a British show. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what I'm seeing here. I mean, it just kind of has that look to it. It's like a countryside mystery. And I think it looks great in that regard. Now, like I said, the whole witch topic, I'm a bit at odds with, but we'll see how it materializes in regards to the, the program. But I would be open to at least considering checking it out because, again, I love the acting, by and large. I love the cast here. Rufus Sewell seems to be doing a great job. I love Sean Pertwee. And it's a very elegant mystery. I mean, in some parts, I think it, it has a bit of a disturbing vibe to it. But it looks very well made. It looks intriguing. I like the Agatha Christie mysteries I've seen so far. I've been very impressed by, including some of the trailers for because, you know, obviously Death on the Nile hasn't been released yet. But Murder on the Orient Express was just so good as a movie. I, well, I mean, it's not, I think the ending in particular was kind of like, it, it was, it just, it, it was just, it was a little soft for my liking. But I think the film, just presentation-wise, was so beautiful. And this one, again, has a very high-quality classical feel to it with good acting paired on top of that. And again, it looks like a fun mystery that I want to learn maybe the, the uh, ending to. What are your guys' thoughts with The Pale Horse? Let me know down below. Don't forget all the stuff for liking, subscribing, and sharing, hitting that bell. Until we get to watch more from Amazon, perhaps more Agatha Christie mysteries. Who knows? But I'll see you guys where I point that out to be. But for now, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to your fellow man. God bless. Peace. <laughs>